So this is a 2017 Peugeot Boxer with a Euro 6 engine and 50,000 miles on the clock. So over here we have two hooks for tea towels and then we have a fire angel smoke alarm and here is the vent where you've got a mozzie net or you've got a blackout or you can open it with this door here and let in some air which is really nice when that door's open because you get a nice airflow coming through. So right here on the outside we have some storage for little knickknacks in the little pockets here and you've got two there and two the other side. Also at the back of the van you've got your dimmer for the light switch, you've got on off and you've got the dimmer which is operated with the finger with the touch screen pad so also at the back of the van you've got your shower at the back here which hooks onto the door like so and how the shower works is you get your shower head and you pop it on the door turn your water pump on here once your water pump's on, the pressure button, and that'll activate your heater and instant hot water. So next to your shower here, you've got a 20 litre wastewater tank that can be used either straight from the sink to the wastewater tank, and then just lift it out when you need to empty it, or you can put your pipe down through the hole in the ground if you can empty it out onto the street or down a drain. So behind your waste water tank, there is the fresh water tank, which is a 75 litre fresh water tank that feeds the sink and the shower. So here is your sink, which is connected to your water pump that you turn on here. It also activates your shower. And that's just for the cold water up here or the hot water down there. Next, you have your two burner gas hub which runs off the 11 kilogram LPG tank. So also in the kitchen, we have two plug sockets that run off the 24 volt and two USBs, uh, which is on the side of the pantry, which is a, a good place for cups of tea up here or lamps that can be plugged in via the USB. And then you have your pantry for all your canned goods and uh, toilet roll and whatnot. And then down here is a large storage area that we use mainly for water bottles and your more heavier goods. And then that leads us to our cutlery drawer. And then storage underneath the hub for your water tank and for, that's where we store the table. So underneath your cutlery drawer, we have the fridge, which is pretty useful. It's a not so mini mini fridge with a little freezer compartment at the top. And loads of room for everything. Over here we have a lagoon table, which is very useful either for when you're cooking as an extra work surface or over here as a laptop table. You've got some cushions behind you. Or if there's two of you sat on the bench, you could watch a movie. Many, many uses where you could stick it over here and eat your food together. Over here we have a switch for the LED lights that run underneath the backboard there. And then we have a very sneaky little cupboard for your wires and well you could store whatever you want in there but we use it for wires. Next we have the electrics in here which are very easy to get to. You just gotta move the cushions out the way. And then this slides open and there you have your 50 amp charge controller which is fed by a 320 watt solar panel on the roof and then that goes down to your 260 amp hour AGM battery stored under here next to a 2000 watt inverter which powers the fridge, the hub 
and plug sockets. So your battery powers up your 12 volt, uh, which is your light switches here, your light switch on the end, which powers all your LEDs on the roof. Also, we have uh, a 12 volt USB plug over here next to the bed, so you can plug your phone in at night. And another underlight at the uh, back there, near the headboard. So under this side of the bench, we have a lot of storage. And then if you unlatch this table here, slide that out. You have access to the heater that sits underneath. Okay, okay. Right down here is where the buttons are for the heater. You've got fan or the heat in there, and you can control the thermostat through that dial. Here we have a light switches which turn on your LED strips under here and at the back there. And all this space can be used really well with bungee cords, strapping it to the top of the bed. You can fit your bikes in here and any other sports equipment you might have. That black box there is the LPG tank. Inside we have an 11 kilogram LPG tank that feeds the hub, the heater and the shower. And down here we have the natural gas alarm because gas sinks. Up here we have a lot of storage for clothing and blankets and whatever you want to store up there. So through here we have access to the cab. These curtains are thermal and blackout lined so they stop any heat from getting out or getting in and stop any light from getting in or out.